Hey, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. I just want to start this video off by saying thank you so much for all the love and support on the Reputation Stadium Tour video. If you've been keeping up with my channel a little bit, you know that it has been nothing short of a struggle to get this to you. I had to post it on a Patreon as a free trial, which by the way, if you did sign up for that, it is a seven day free trial before something happens. I don't think I really plan on continuing over there because I haven't really found a reason to, but um, don't forget to cancel that if you do. Uh, and then eventually it did allow me to post on YouTube. I think this is a very temporary thing because of the copyright issues, but while it's in dispute, it allows me to post it. So I don't expect it to stay on my channel very long, but if you did get to watch it, I'm so happy that you did and you enjoyed it because as I was going through all the comments, it seemed like everyone really enjoyed the video. But the only thing that I missed is that I did not watch to the end to see like the bloopers or the end results. So that's what we're going to do in this video. I'm not sure how long this video really will be considering I don't know how long the end credits are, but let's just get started. And in the death of her reputation, she truly felt alive. I feel like that is something that so encapsulates the feeling of this album as a whole. Um, she really just threw out everyone's opinion and created her own new reputation. While it might be sad that you lost the old one, I just feel like overall it's just something that really led her into like sort of a rebirth. Or maybe I'm being a little dramatic when I say that, but it almost is what it seems like to me. Is this why you guys wanted me to watch this? Because I've been begging for So It Goes to be in the tour the whole time to realize that it's not a part of the set list. Is this her making up for it for me? <laughs> Love that. I think these are the people that she introduced in Gorgeous. Also, I just realized that I need to be strategic on how I put this because I don't want this video to get blocked as well, so you might not see all that much on the screen. I actually saw people do that on the Eros tour. Um, where I was at, at the top, it wasn't close enough for any of that, like, confetti or glitter or whatever um, to be where I was sitting, but I saw a lot of people... Um, actually, I shouldn't say that I saw them do it, but as we were walking out, you could see people with, like, handfuls of confetti I guess. I don't really know what you do with it, but I did see people doing that. Do bad things with you. <laughs> I'm feeling 22 months pregnant. Being pregnant isn't making me- being present- being pregnant isn't making me pee my pants Taylor Swift is. <laughs> um, I think I just had like a brain malfunction for a second because when I read 22 months pregnant I was like wow that's a really long time to be pregnant but then I kind of realized like it's a play on the song. But for some reason, I was just like, wow, props to you, because that's a long journey. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Who's counting? One, two, three. And all the pieces fall. Okay, so oh. first of all, first of all, um, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Me every day at work. Great job, man. <laughs> Does this not look a little bit like a middle school crush? Uh, I'm not insinuating that they like each other, but like, you know that when you're not close enough to be like friends or anything like that, and you're just like having that really awkward um, first conversation, you're like, oh, I love drums. Drums are so cool. <laughs> like, it kind of reminds me of that. What I do when I don't know where I'm leaving. At least she's honest with that, but. I'm kind of surprised more that she doesn't have those types of things, or maybe she does, for like singing songs, because given how much lyrics you would have to remember is insane. Um, I'm sure dancing is difficult too, but I just feel like she doesn't have all that much choreography that it seems like the lyrics would be a bigger feat. But then I guess at the same time she writes the song, so maybe it's easier to remember things that you came up with. I don't know. Interesting though. <laughs> I feel like that's what everyone says about the song. It has so many. It gets so repetitive sometimes. Um, I have to venture out to feel like it says it at least 40 times in Look What You Made Me Do. At the very least, I feel like. Just look, look what you made me do. Look what you just made me do. Look what, like, I feel like each chorus probably has it at least 10 times. You can't just put it in front of me and not have to drink that thermal <laughs> 
That, that was from one of the songs. Uh, she mentions an old fashioned in one of the songs, but I can't remember it. I know, I know she's evolved in a lot of her aspects of her touring and just everything in general, but even seeing it down to like, I guess, lighting or what I would assume is like stage design kind of, it does seem like she's just involved in literally every aspect. Wow. <laughs> the thing that's funny about that to me is, um, I don't know if anyone's ever seen the TikToks of kind of being like, celebrities in private jets and how it's bad for the environment, which it probably is, I'm not disputing that, but I just think that's kind of funny because like, I feel like she got a lot of, um, I feel like she was involved in a lot of that conversation and it's just funny that she doesn't know about planes. Okay, I'm alone out here, so I feel like I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> I really am gonna need to study a All right, so that was the end of the end credits of the Reputation Stadium tour. I, I'm sorry that it wasn't in the original video. I genuinely didn't know it existed. So um, hope this makes up for it, but thank you for watching and I'll see you in our next video.